My notebook. Anonymous, the assertions enclosed in the best of my experiments. Reader, for thy sake and thirst knowledge, I have decided to provide you with the following accounts. Long ago, when I accidentally landed on this world, primitive sentients living here erected a temple to me in my chariot, but they were boring and impetuous. Soon the cats emerged as a more likable group than any other creatures. Thereafter, I was able to do some experiments on them. Quite successfully indeed. My liking for these cats caused me to contemplate how to wind and strengthen their intelligences. Thereupon, I set out to modify the power generator and thus began the experiments. Generator provided the felines with more obdurate life energy, one which was most difficult to suppress. The cats die, yet with stubborn energy return once again to life. The side effect is the strange glow which surrounds them. For several manipulations, successfully increasing their, their lives up to nine times. Thus, no one will be able to truly defeat them until their ninth life. The source of all, all extra life resides in the power generator. Dear reader, make a man experiment what you will. Okay. Bridgeo's Book of Astonishing Things. Compile volume of items of interest, both magical and mundane, by Bridgeo Moonshade. This volume compiles an early reference to some of the many fascinating constructions I found in my researches. These items range from interesting uses for mundane items to fascinating miscarriages of magic. Wands. Three identical wands. The fire wand. This one releases a bolt of flaming death according to all known texts on the subject. The carnage was called amazing. Lightning wand. The effect of bolt of lightning as it bursts forth and the wand is devastating as its counterpart. The fire wand, however, according to one of its proponents, the corpses look and smell much less offensive. Magician's wand, while only slightly more lethal than the typical bow, this wand is rendered quite effective due to two interesting facets. Its damage is of most magical nature and more than powerful against monsters with predilection for challenging mages, and it never ceases to function. Without interest in power and duration, it's one for the hmm. Fire Doom, got one. This stuff which kills exploding fireballs that actually seek out a target is perhaps the most lethal of all magical weapons created by the Human Cargo Corporation. But with most more powerful magic weapons, its limited life means it may fail at the worst of times. Glass Swords, single use swords kill, almost always kill any creature from a single blow. They are seldom useful for a second opponent. Magical Weaponry, Burst Arrows. Burst arrow myriad targets. Arrow function is a normal arrow, but upon impact, explodes into a thousand flight shards of death. A venom dagger. Uh, stone harpy. Okay. Minor experiments by Teldrona. This book belongs to Teldrona the Mage. For the Bright Reader, I've taken the Heart of Darkness in search of the way, the way of the rest. Even negative effects of blood spawn have been my quest. Stone heart also on my mind, thou art right, so reader by thy way, dear reader, if thou should know how to obtain some, contact me immediately. Thank thee in advance for thy kindness. Let us begin, for I am losing track of what thou art interested in. Thou art not afraid of dying out thou well. This shall proceed to tell thee what all this truly concerns. Mold experiment with it, the closer I would come to success, that was my intuition. Well, I must admit it did not work. Blood spawn is bound to have some side effects here, I don't know which it is yet. The heart of the matter, if you must say so, dear reader, is that thou art about to take possession of the secret. Darkness may fall upon thee at the very same time. I recommend thou best uh, be extremely careful. Fatal accident is easily triggered by manipulating those forces. In the heart of the mountain, I found the red orange material, collected samples, and after many transformations, I turned it into the forbidden reagent. Thou art certain, dearest reader, that thou fearest death no more. I want to make it clear there's nothing. Right, that was seen before. Many mages' life was taken away. How do I turn it into a powerful magical reagent? That asks us. Yes, how? Oh, I remember. That was only to crush it into fine powder. Then that was combined the powder with fresh human blood. It is just so. This powerful reagent, too powerful for my fellow mages who were fools enough to lose their lives, enables these to create some spells. Might be possible for spells to flare men's mind or set swords into dancing death or to decimate entire cities. Mass death, well, think of it that I must be able to make Matt disintegrate. He will call lightning to the service if I call it quickly my experiments. These are the powers of blood spawn. 
Dear reader, now ready to experiment or ready to lose thy life. Remember how careful it should be with carrying it. Finding safe means to avoid blood spawn side effects. Primary concern herein give thee all that will ever need to know. May want to be prepared for fits. Experiment with blood spawn and stone heart will trigger numerous disorders. Many times they attempt to delay the onset of the fits, all in vain. Alas, the future does not seem to be a long shining path. I even wonder how long I will remain sane. That's such reason why I wrote such a book, dear reader. It's for thee to read and for thee to take our place once it's gone, once I be gone. This powerful knowledge, painfully extracted from the heart of darkness, must outlive us. Thou shalt continue. Sword forging. Oh god, they're following me. I can't nick anything. The magic compass said to be the legendary artifact which guided Erstam to the, the mad during the voyage to the Serpent Isle. To use it, they must set the compass upon the ground and they'll chant the mantra up. Yelg Ort. According to legend, the compass will show thee the way to travel, but only if thou art worthy. For myself, I've never been able to make the damn thing work. Hence, I'm donating it to the Sumeru. Full virtue of the Mage Lord. Well, where is it? It's not there, is it? Just nick everything I can while they're not looking. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm sure I'll need it at some point. a lesson Greetings, mundane. I'm sorry, but that's my statement for someone else. Because not possibly speak to me as I'm a mage and that merely mundane. Such impudence. Well, if you're going to be like that, I'm going to rob everything you've got. Quite simple. While I'm on it. Ah! That actually just waste that. Oh, it did as well. Oh, didn't it? Can't tell. Oh, you've got all the spells. What was that? Oh, heal. Oh, it's you that's got the cash, isn't it? Oh, and the potions. Should probably give those to you, though. He's carrying. I was going to say he's carrying less, but who's got the cash then? Oh, is it me? <laughs> Everything's screwed up. I'm sorry that was mistaking me. Whoa. 
giant saw blade trap. Time stop. I've made the most wonderful discovery about the comb I took from the empty headed ruler. For no longer shall I be forced to content myself with his fumbling attention with Melina, my pillow excuse for her husband. Upon using the comb on myself, I become beautiful and desirable. No one ever guessed that Mosh and I are twins. Now that I may use my wits for better things, like the adept Torricio Columna. Okay. Jesus, what is 40? I'm Teresa, a major moon shared, I'm a sociable man. So this will be brief. What do you desire from me? At what price? Teresa, moon shared, major master of life spells. Best specifically spells involving healing and the sustenance of life energies. Moon shared, in many ways, a perfect city, a perfect example of civilization with the highest form of government, a mediocracy. Government is totally controlled by majors, the only sensi sensible form of government. Major have a holistic understanding of the world that makes them far more suited to the responsibilities of government than any mundane could. Child on the move. Uh, with Fulbertia at the head of the Council of Mages, things are accomplished quickly with minimum of politics. Come from the longest family lines of mages in all of the Serpent Isle. Oh, that's how one tells a good mage. They must know by his family line. Good mage is a result of good breeding. My father has always said that. A thousand years ago, our ancestors performed tricks to amuse peasants. Hundreds of years ago, they were the most trusted advisors to kings and rulers of the land. When it comes to magic, the only bloodline more pure than mine is that of the ruling family. Of course, my family was decimated in the old war. If not for that, I might be the ruler today. According to my family records, most of our family were killed fighting the demons. This is the war which brought an end to the age of the two kings. That will be the bloodline of the Mage Lord of Moonshade. Politics. Of course, nothing gets done without little politics. One's enemies and allies are constantly shifting. That's why uh, Russell Luncier and I have formed a sort of coalition, where we both work to protect each other's best interests. Of course, the realm of politics as well as the realm of magic. There's one today, maybe very will be the other tomorrow. Of course, our working together has led to a few rumours, such as the way of politics, but even partners disagree. For instance, she's convinced that there's some sort of connection between thee and this other stranger who visitors, Batlin. Utlunty is quite repulsed yet fascinated with Batlin and his secrets think it makes him wish to offer thee a word of advice. Utlunty is not the sort of woman that just wants to get angry at the man advice is that it's whatever she wants, you should give it to her. Yeah. Matron. What battles here exhibit some sort of power or talent or knowledge? Rutalunsia is now obsessed with it, although she will not speak much about it with me. Partners with Rutalunsia in politics, but partners with Columnia in love. Our love must remain a secret. It saddens her and myself as well. There are those who would come between us and plan against us. I was touched by a song sung by Lady Gweno. She came passing through our city several weeks ago from what I hear. She's the most unusual and interesting woman. Plan against you. Didn't wish to burn you with my personal problems. Let's think things about it. Roberto is shoot and stone roller. Highly skilled mage. 
He's not someone who want, you want to cross. Council of Mages, don't raise this topic. I have no stomach for the political games, which one must play in order to win a seat on the council. Buy spells, of course, I can sell the spell. Just uh, with all the experiments, we're practically the center of the world. I accept Gilders only, which circle? Seventh. Nothing. Yes. Sixth. Betray. Create automata. 750 guilders. No. No. So to whom? Why that fat sage that passed through a while ago battling? I remember not the specifics of the transaction. Experiments. Don't wish to violate the privacy of a fellow mage, but there's at least one mage in town working on solving the mystery of these discussion teleport storms. Well, we already. <laughs> don't steal anything. Ah. <laughs> it's funny. It's like I've been here before. Uh -huh. Ooh, reveal. Right. I couldn't be bothered to go to Moonshade. Sorry, Moonshade Monk Isle, because I don't know where it is. Or how it get there. It's not gonna be bothered, I just don't know how. But Spellbook. It's not understand me. The roots must be fresh, taken from the swamp precisely as the tides are receding. These roots are stale, unsuitable for our purposes. Return to Monk Isle, return with fresh roots. Oh for fuck's sake. How do I get to Monk Isle? I don't know where Monk Isle is. Probably fucking there. Or there. Or there. Or there. Or behind that. Fucking useless. How do I get to Monk Isle? Still don't know where I need to be. Let's see if automatons making weapons. You, you just came out of there. Let me introduce myself. I'm Topo the Artisan Apprentice to Master Ducio. Sometime I ought to be as rich and lazy as my master. He spends all his time asleep or at the inn, except when he comes here to make me crazy with his nagging. I work with Master Ducio for several years now, soon it will be able to, I will be able to open a shop of my own. Topos Treasures, I'll call it. Work with the pottery, the Ottomans have trouble handing the slip. Generally crush a piece before it's fully formed and ready to fire after firing, they're fine, but before that's where I work. Firing is a piece of shape clay turning into ceramic utensils you're familiar with. By hitting the clay to great temperature of the water dries and the piece and becomes tough and resilient. The piece is heated or cooled too quickly comes brittle and fragile. It's a very exacting task. Slip is the wet clay that is formed in cups or plates or jugs, almost anything. If I was a patient of hand, I could create a world of goods from mere clay. Heavens know that I'm patient enough to with my slug of a master. Master is one of the wealthiest mundanes in moonshade. There's no comparison to the mages of course. We have three automatons, one for sewing, one for blacksmith work, one for baking. This one must actually specialise in making everyone else do his work. Bye. Clock saws, shovels, pitchers, cloth. Don't need any of that. If I believe in shape changing, I believe it. I believe it with Ducia. That man is too lazy to be human. A slug, maybe, but a human, no. Work for me and the automatons would have joined old Mosh out begging. Mosh is a town beggar, she's very ugly and crazy too. She claims to be Columna's twin sister. Well, she is. There's a town that mages give those kind of cast spells. 
assuming there's a little non person's life who's not spent a pursuit of magic and pomposity, it'll never know the thrill of having a fine pot shape herself on the hand from the formless piece of mud. Ages where the true money lies in moonshade, but if does not possess magic, it must work for a living. Let's say about my master, that is. Anything a lowly mundane can help for us to be able to afford an automaton from Teresia to help with the workload. Teresia is the adept that makes the automatons. No one knows how he does it. But most of the automatons Teresia makes is strictly utilitarian. He's capable of making far more sophisticated models. Have something to look at Petra. Adept does a blessed magical or equal lord, some like Andrea and novices who still have to learn their craft. Some like Stefano have little power to command even after they learn. Those like Stefano, I'm certain although they can cast as well or two, he's not really good at it. Makes his living by stealing things from one major or another. That's very amusing. He shuns his magic and those who would look down on him must deal with him to acquire things they want. Perhaps there's some justice in the world after all. Now if only someone turned to see it in a workbench, it'd be the most useful thing he's ever been. Andrea is my friend, which is surprising since he's also a novice mage. Perhaps the outrageous arrogance I've not developed in him yet. Well, who knows? I'm seven protector of Pothos. Let's not be long here. Let's ask it, please depart. Bye. What are you looking at, eh? What's to do? Some call me the Rat Woman. I don't even know that my rightful name is Mosh. Aye, Mosh. But they were to believe me, I could tell this story to some of them I've forgotten. I will not talk of it now. I won't call her Rat Woman. It might piss her off. Cute bird. What the fuck are you on about? Will you snap still? What well, pleasure meeting you. My name is Busia. Tennis provision shop. Is there anything I can help you with? Information. I'm not certain on anything. What I'm interested in? Strange objects. Apparatus. No, it'll do no good to speak with the mages, for they ignore mundane like ourselves. So if they'll speak with Master Busia, perhaps he could help me. He makes all the apparatus for the wizards. And um, sound like some sort of pot. Uh, perhaps top of the cis Macedusia and fashion pots. Yeah, we're not nice. Blue egg. It's a rotten egg. Leave here with that. Oh, I forgot to say that. Fucking egg. Oh, where are you going now? Oh, get away from me with that rotten egg. Fuck's sake. 